In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up YouTube on your Roku TV. So if you don't already have the YouTube application installed and on your applications page, what you're going to want to do is go down to the streaming channels. And then over in this section, it should be pretty much the top result in the top free channel store area. You can see it's the number one result here. But if you can't find it in that section, you can also just go down to streaming channels and click OK and then go down and just type in Y and the number one result should be YouTube as well. So then you can just go over, click on YouTube and then in this page you can go ahead and download and install the application. So after you do that, going back to our home page by clicking the home button on our Roku remote, your YouTube application should show up in the bottom area. The most recent apps that you install show up at the bottom of your app list. So if you want to move YouTube up to the top of your list, Simply on your Roku remote, click the star or the asterisk button, and then you can click move channel, and then you can go ahead and put the YouTube application wherever you want it to be. So the next thing we're gonna do is launch YouTube. And then the first time you do this, I highly recommend linking YouTube to your specific YouTube account, especially if you have an account that's hooked up to a lot of different channels that you've subscribed to. It's really gonna help you cater your experience on this application. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to the left-hand side of the screen where there's that little profile picture and then go over and click the sign in option. So it says sign in using the YouTube mobile app, tap your account. Uh, you can go ahead and do it this way. I kind of prefer just going into my web browser and linking my account that way. So we're gonna to go to try another way and it'll give you this code here. So you just simply go to youtube.com slash activate and then type in this particular code. So I'm gonna go do that on my computer and then come back to show you how it looks after you log into your respective account. All right guys, I just got done linking my specific YouTube account on my laptop at that website that was just on the screen. You type in the code and then you just go through and then it'll end up linking your account to your YouTube application. So as you can see here on the left-hand side of the screen, if you go down to the option that's right under that home area, you can see all of your different subscriptions there. You can see I have 116 different YouTube subscriptions. And then the most recent videos from all the people that you follow are gonna show up in this area as well. So it's a good way to just kind of cater your specific YouTube experience. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comment section and I'll get around to answering them when I have the opportunity. But thanks for stopping on in, subscribe for more, and we hope to see you back here for future videos. Bye.